Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's December 11, 2014, and here's a look at our top stories. Tonight, Congress passes a bill which grants unlimited access to communications of every American. Then, U.S. covert action in Cuba continues as government agencies infiltrate the Cuban hip-hop scene. And who is the mysterious info warrior posting billboards nationwide? That's coming up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. When we hear about guns in this country, it's usually some politicians saying nine out of 10 people are in favor of stricter gun control. But a new poll shows that that is definitely not the case. A recent Pew Research Center poll reveals support for the Second Amendment and gun ownership is at a two-decade high. Currently, 52% say it's more important to protect the right of Americans to own guns, while 46% say it's more important to control gun ownership. The Washington, D.C.-based think tank reports. And that's exactly right, because every time they say these 9 out of 10, you know, I always think about this in terms of President Obama walking around the White House, and he asks 9 out of 10 people, and he's like, okay, I'm commanding you to say that you don't want these uh, stricter measures because they always come up with these numbers. And where do these numbers come from? But we can see the people are speaking out. They understand that they want guns to protect themselves because they do understand that there's not going to be somebody to protect you there all the time, i.e. Ferguson, Missouri, the shops right outside the police station, directly across the street from the police station, get robbed, get looted. Nobody was there to protect them, even though the cops were right outside the street, in the street, matter of fact, with, you know, 100 plus guys and heavy armor and battle tanks and all that stuff, or should I say MRAPs, everybody wants to take uh, the tank quote out of context. So these are the things going on, and I do, uh, I'm very happy to see that people are waking up to this and they will not be disarmed. We see record gun sales. I think they had the largest background check ratio over the past uh, Black Friday, record gun sales every place you turn. So let's turn now to some of the actions that police are doing, the political correct climate that we now live in, which is very strong. Cop allows Saudis with a dead baby in trunk to drive away so not to offend Muslims. The vehicle, which had paper tags and a registration violation, contained three Saudi Arabians with Saudi driver's licenses who told the officer they had a dead child in the trunk prepared for an Islamic burial at a mosque in Franklin. This is in Tennessee. So let's stop right there. You volunteer a statement to an officer saying quite literally you have a dead child in your trunk. And in my mind, you know, you guys know about me, I'm not for police searches and unwarranted searches and seizures, but if somebody says there's a dead baby in my trunk, I think that's probable cause to maybe go get a warrant and take a look inside that trunk. But in the politically correct climate, the officer, who is a rookie, I'll give him that, said he didn't want to offend the Muslims inside the car. He didn't want to interfere with their practices. But it's a very serious offense, and as Paul points out in the article, if you're smoking marijuana or the officer suspects you have marijuana, you get pulled out of the car, roadside cavity search, two girls, one glove, happened twice here in the state of Texas in recent memory that I know of. Uh, I'm sure it happened many other places as well. Also, the no-refusal DUI checkpoints, where if you're suspected of driving under, under the influence, they can take you to the jail, draw your blood without your permission. It's just completely ridiculous, the things that they do, the no-knock warrants all the way around. But to be politically correct, we can't check and make sure that there is a baby in the trunk. The article points out that the officer also failed to get the names of the men or even check if there was a mosque in Franklin, which there turns out there isn't. Just uh, complete, as much as the police state is out there, you would think they would eventually actually do something worthwhile, but it's hard to do that. But we do have good officers, guys like Clark out in Milwaukee and Finch down in Florida, but they need to train these guys on what exactly the hell they need to be doing. Congress passes a bill which grants unlimited access to communications of every single American. According to Congressman Justin Amash, Congress just passed a bill which grants the government and law enforcement unlimited access to communications of every American. The legislation, which passed yesterday, 325 to 100 via a voice vote, a green light for what Amash describes as one of the most egregious sections of law I've encountered during my time as a representative. And if you read the article on Infowars.com, you can see his comments his letter to his colleagues. So yes, we do know that they're spying on us, the NSA, all the data mining. They want to spy on you through your cell phones. They want to threaten Apple when Apple has encryption. I'm skeptical of Apple for various other reasons, but at least on the surface, they're putting up a face that they're trying to protect your privacy. And it seems like the more privacy you want, 
the more privacy that they want to take from you. It's very, uh, very disheartening. Now let's talk about something else. Let's switch gear and talk about marijuana. Uh, last night we talked about some of the legislation going through with some of the failed legislation to legalize marijuana in various parts of the country. But now we have this. U.S. won't stop Native Americans from growing, selling pot on their lands, opening the door for what could be a lucrative and controversial new industry on some Native American reservations. The Justice Department on Thursday will tell U.S. attorneys not to prevent tribes from growing or selling mar marijuana on sovereign lands, even in states that ban it. So, you know, if all the things the Native Americans have lost, uh, I guess primarily being the United States of America, they can say you can at least grow weed on your reservation. That's not to say that all Native Americans are going to jump up and do this. They're just saying, hey, you do have the option if you choose to do that on your lands. And if you guys know me, I'm not what you would call a recreational marijuana advocate, but I don't like people being sent to prison under mandatory minimums. I also recognize the medical effects of marijuana, and people want to say, well, you can get high off medical marijuana. I'm clue you guys in on a little secret if you didn't know it. You can get high off stuff you get at the pharmacy, too. You can get high off those prescription pills. You can get high off, or I guess drunk, rather, off uh, cough syrup. They call it the purple drink. You can get high off a lot of stuff. You can get high off huffing paint. So the notion that everybody's going to go get high off medical marijuana is kind of a non-factor in my opinions. But while they're giving Americans this, Native Americans, they are taking away their lands. So if you have enough land to actually grow the marijuana on, I guess you could do that. But they're trying to make sure that that's not really a possibility, at least in Arizona. The opinion piece published in Indian Country Today documents how the National Defense Authorization Act is being used to strip lands from the San Carlos Apache tribe in Arizona. And that's exactly right. You know, as much as they don't want to take away from the Native Americans that I just talked about, we'll give you some weed that you can grow on your land. That's if you have any land left to grow it on. It's a very uh, sad thing to see that they're taking even more away from the people who uh, deserve more than what they have. And we'll end our segment tonight with this. U.S. tried to undermine Cuba by infiltrating its underground hip-hop scene. This is a story about how Cuban artists were approached by Americans, and they said, hey, you know, why don't you do songs about this or do songs about that? And the goal was to overthrow the communist government of Raul Castro. And I'm not vouching for communism. But all it did, it backfired and put the targets at greater risk. So, you know, you talk about these things, how the music industry is controlled. Uh, Rick Ross was here, the real Rick Ross, talking about how... The hip-hop culture, you know, there are definitely good groups out there, Public Enemy, KRS-One, other people like that. But a lot of what you see mainstream, these guys are out there saying it's, it's good to be a thug, it's good to be, you know, this or that, be a pimp. And I understand it's entertainment. At the end of the day, if you get arrested for selling drugs, I don't blame Jay-Z or whoever. That was your personal decision. But these guys are putting a very unhealthy message out into the community, and, you know, people need to stand up and make their voices heard so we can get good things, positive things, going in our music. Well, that's it for this segment. Stay tuned. After this break, we'll have a special report from John Bound detailing torture. And also, I'll speak to Robert Bro, the guy who's been posting up the InfoWars billboards. Stay tuned. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock in the last limited shipment of 2014. The most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Vitamin B12 deficiency is linked to scores of serious problems. And Secret 12 is a fusion of two organic proprietary forms of vitamin B12, bringing you a true nutraceutical quality vitamin B12, Secret 12. Secret 12 is an excellent Christmas gift and is tailor-made to boost your New Year's resolutions. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. 2015 is almost here, and with it comes those New Year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it. There's a reason over 88% of New Year's resolutions fail. Make this year different by equipping yourself with Oxy Powder, the next level in cleansing the body naturally. 
using super oxygenation. Oxy powder, available through InfoWarsLife.com, gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules. Tens of thousands of individuals have used Oxy powder to cleanse their bodies and aid in their transformations. Even InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew has been using Oxy powder with incredible success. Took it that first day, and then I took it for six more days after that. 12 pounds melted off in about a week, I'd say a week, seven days. 2015 can be different. Diet and exercise are important, but a lot of us have already tried that. Oxy powder flushes it out. Secure your Oxy powder at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. say to the vice president, the, the plane is 50 miles out, the plane is 30 miles out. And when it got down to the plane is 10 miles out, uh, the young man also said to the vice president, do the orders still stand? And uh, the vice president turned and whipped his neck around and said, of course the orders still stand. Have you heard anything to the contrary? This government does not torture people. You know, we, 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 we stick to U.S. law and our international obligations. Did you personally have any doubt, any shred of doubt about that intelligence? No, I didn't. I, I believe that the president was right when he said we ought to go forward and not back. Um, I worry about the morale and effectiveness of the CIA. I worry about this thing getting out of control and us harming our ability to carry on the struggle that we're in with radical Islamic extremism. Are you in favor of releasing the documents that Dick Cheney has been requesting be released. Well, it won't surprise you that uh, I don't consider him a particularly reliable source of information. Uh, Madam, Madam Secretary, I ask you a specific question. Are you, Dick Cheney has asked for specific documents to be unclassified. We're not asking for your opinion of Dick Cheney about those documents. You want to maintain your credibility with us. What is your position on the release of those documents? Well, Congressman, I believe that we ought to get to the bottom of this entire matter. I think it's in the best interest of our country, and that is what the president believes, and that is why he has taken the actions he did. So you are the time of the gentleman. They're getting ready to implode the economy. They've built this over the last few decades. They have the legislation introduced. They have the 10 regional FEMA governors under federal control with the National Governors Act. All this is in place, and now Steve has gotten, and by the way, we called the numbers and, and, and called the addresses, you know, pulled up the numbers on the addresses. We're going to go through that PDF file for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. If you go to the article and, and, and link through, we have a PDF uh, document there in the second paragraph, uh, and we'll scroll down so they can see it, so they can actually see the uh, diagrams in that PDF. Uh, yeah, there you have it. Uh, where you can see the different blueprints for these huge interrogation rooms. And what's a big concern is multiple sources say they've got the cover claiming this is for Postal Inspector Criminal Investigations, though no one's ever heard of it. That's the cover for building it. We know, even in mainstream articles, these are for forced inoculations and federal police interrogation. So I want to go to Steve Quayle, uh, who is hot on the trail of this. Steve, good to have you back with us. Thanks, Alex. The interesting thing about this story that is breaking today with you and I and others, especially many thanks to Al Cuppet, is uh, last week I ran into a gentleman that obviously knows who I am, and he started opening up about the work he's been doing on different not only post offices, but the Department of Homeland Security facilities and federal buildings for, you're going to love this, uh, literally silent rooms called interrogation rooms. And this guy knows what's going on, and he's a security specialist. And he said, Steve, what these guys are building are nothing more than absolutely, uh, and he said in, in his words, they are rendition centers. Now, we know what rendition means, torture. And we also know the fact that based on what multiple witnesses throughout the country are saying is everything is being geared up and the level of not only secrecy, 
but of uh, cordoning off these areas, Alex, with more guards and everything, is indicative of something that's getting really, really yeah. Now they're now they're staffing it. That's the big concern. Remember, right. Bush started the secret arrest, the snatch and grab, the torture. Now Lieberman and McCain are on the news trying to pass laws, uh, the Belligerent Act, where the Pentagon can direct citizens are secretly arrested, secretly stripped of their rights, and can be given quote enhanced interrogation. And then it turns out Obama overseas has been using new black sites at horse ranches and foreign post office facilities. So they love the nondescript building. They bring you in in the back of a postal truck and take you into the torture facility. I'm going to try to be brief because I've noticed you're on your fourth glass of water and I don't want to be accused of waterboarding you. We did a whole lot of things that were right, but we tortured some folks. Now, a long-delayed Senate report was released today. This was by the Senate Intelligence Committee, and it, it basically details the enhanced interrogation tactics um, that were put in place by the CIA, and it reveals that not only did the CIA routinely lie about the information that it received from detaining and interrogating terror suspects, but it also re reveals some of the grisliest techniques that were used, methods that were far more brutal than previously acknowledged. I think it's a terrible piece of work, basically. When told about one detainee being chained to the ceiling of his cell, clothed in a diaper and forced to urinate and defecate on himself, even a president known for his dead or alive swagger expressed discomfort. True? I don't have any idea. I've never heard of such a thing. I think the narcissism is done through all of our military, including the Army, Air Force, and Admirals. You've seen a few generals in the Air Force have been uh, discharged by uh, General Martin Dempsey. You've seen a few Navy uh, commanders have been discharged. We have too many generals, too many uh, uh, admirals. Here's the problem. The CIA is a total product of narcissism. It's a fictitious organization that really thinks it does something. It has done more harm than any good over 30 years. I don't say that because I dislike them. Men I knew were men who came out of the OSS, Don Gregg, James Little, Paul Redman, all who had made their bones in uh, North Korea, South Korea, and been in the military. The problem is it outsourced itself to 80% to make money and to create uh, wars that it could not fight, didn't know what to do, as the, as the report suggested, they have no idea of how to interrogate. Every cop on the beat knows how to interrogate better than they do. Every military policeman knows how to interrogate, yet the CIA is a complete disaster. They've they co-opted our Republican system of presidential selections, which has to stop. And that's the key of the American public, to demand that every candidate be completely vetted out. There will be no excuse for skull and bones, no excuse for top secrecy, no excuse for... A man like John Kerry, who's part of Skull and Bones, and George Bush Jr., both Skull and Bones in the same class that had to be mediated by Fred Smith of uh, FedEx. So that kind of nonsense in the republic has to stop. If not, then we will go onto the streets and do what we need to. In this way, we must show our absolute aversion to authoritarian states and dictatorships of any kind. The president's emotion was understandable. A leftist activist in the early 70s, she too was jailed and tortured. Yet she opposes calls to prosecute former military rulers. Two former members of the Pinochet regime have been sentenced to three years in prison for their part in the torture and killing of the father of President Michel Bachelet. General Bachelet was tortured at the Air Force Academy along with thousands of others which led to his death. Many were disappointed with the lenient three-year sentence. Detainees who were subjected to EITs at some point during their confinement subsequently provided information that our experts found to be useful and valuable in our counterterrorism efforts. And the cause and effect relationship between the application of those EITs and the ultimate provision of information is unknown and unknowable. The Molon Lave Silver Coin, certified by the Provident Mint. This one ounce silver round is 0.999% fine silver, inspired by the legendary Spartan King Leonidas and his refusal to lay down arms in defiance of Emperor Xerxes. Molon Lave, that's Greek for come and take it. This is available now at InfoWarsStore.com. 
Act now as supplies are limited. And don't forget, free shipping and a free gift. That's InfoWarsStore.com. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today. And find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. An FBI agent in Seattle posed as an AP journalist in 2007 to help catch a 15-year-old suspected of making bomb threats at a high school in Washington state. Well, now the AP wants assurances from the Justice Department and the FBI that impersonation would not be used again. However, in a roundtable this week, when asked if the FBI would swear off future use of this tactic, FBI Director James Comey told reporters that he was not willing to say never. Now, even though the notoriously covert CIA promised to stop posing as humanitarian workers doling out free vaccines, Comey said that he wasn't willing to say that the FBI would never pose as an educator or a doctor or a rocket scientist. The FBI director added that, as far as he knew, no similar episode has occurred since the 2007 impersonation. In 2011, it came to light that the U.S. military was developing sock puppet software that lets it secretly manipulate social media sites by using fake online personas to influence Internet conversations and spread pro-American propaganda on social media sites, forums, and blogs. Now, I'm not just talking about real live government paid trolls, but about a major network of computers that are constantly running code specifically written to post to social media and news comment sections. It's worth noting that they explicitly acknowledged in their statement that the program was intended for covert operations in foreign countries, not the U.S., much like the kind of covert social media campaigns that we've seen influence the Arab Spring, influence the toppling of the Ukrainian government, and attempt to influence the takedown of Fidel Castro in Cuba. Not only did the U.S. create a fake Twitter platform for Cubans aimed at inspiring them to organize smart mobs, but also infiltrated Cuba's vibrant hip-hop scene in an attempt to spark an anti-government movement. Now remember that this is the same government that sees political activists here in the U.S. as terrorists. The Pentagon has been for years studying social media to gauge and influence the tipping point of civil unrest. Kind of supports our theory that the current Black Lives Matter protests going on have already been infiltrated by government ops in order to further the police state agenda. Recently, the DEA was busted after an agent commandeered a woman's identity, creating a phony Facebook account in her name and posting racy photos that he'd found on her seized cell phone in order to communicate with suspected criminals. He basically used the woman as an undercover agent without her consent, exposing her and two young children to real danger. Facebook was forced to order the DEA to stop operating fake profile pages. Front groups, sock puppets, PR stunts. That's how Washington manipulates public opinion in the age of the Internet in order to further its own agenda. But make no mistake, this is not new. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to a major circulation American journal. We do have people who submit pieces to other two American journals. Do you have any people paid by the CIA who are working for television networks? This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into an executive session. Uh, at CBS, uh, we uh, 
had been contacted by the CIA. As a matter of fact, by the time I became the head of the whole news and public affairs operation in 1954, the ships had been established, and I was told about them and asked if I'd carry on with them. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. Weeks ago, people began contacting us, asking us, where are these InfoWars billboards coming from? And we looked around the office. He said, well, we're not putting up these billboards. We tracked down the guy who is Robert Bro, along with his girlfriend, has been putting these things up along the Southwest. Thanks for joining us today, Robert. Thanks for having me. All right, so tell us how you got involved in this. We've seen these things popping up around the country. What gave you the idea, and just how did you get started? Uh, well, I mean, Alex is always talking about, uh, you know, promoting the show, and... Uh, I have uh, some family members who have done real well for themselves, and I uh, took the idea to them. And uh, we had really planned on, you know, just doing, we're from Louisiana, so we were just going to do some Louisiana cities and hope that maybe it could start a buzz and get them on the radio down here. And uh, I had an incident with the police the same night I called your show, and uh, basically I just kind of asked permission. It was August 27th. And uh, the same night, I was pulled over and uh, illegally searched and beat up by the cops. Uh, <clears throat> I had two black eyes. I had knots on the back of my head. They <clears throat> hit me with a billy club in the ribs. Oh, wow. So uh, that kind of lit a fire under me. Uh, I was, you know, I was charged with uh, public intimidation, resisting arrest, uh, assault on an officer, and disturbing the peace. And, uh, you know, I, I think I've been pretty mistreated through, through this whole process uh, in the legal system. So it really lit a fire under me and a few of my family members. So we decided to do a few more than just uh, Louisiana. So. so was it because you put up the billboard that you encountered this opposition? No, they hadn't, they hadn't gone up yet. Uh, but it was the same day I called the show, though. So. Okay. I'm not saying that's anything to do with it, but it's pretty coincidental. Right, right. Yeah. And have you encountered this type of opposition before or these type of police actions? No, never. So I'm, uh, you know, I haven't seen the video yet. They're supposed to have video on their car, and uh, they're supposed to have it on their uh, bulletproof vest also. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, you know, we definitely see people, uh, it's easy to go out there and put out bumper stickers, T-shirts, hats, all that kind of stuff. When we go out to events like when we went out to Ferguson, we gave people hats and things to try to get the awareness of the show. And we ran into people, you know, one guy who was out there in Ferguson, he said, thank you guys for speaking the truth. You know, he never even heard of our show and now he does, you know, now he has a hat and he can share that information with other people. So, you know, to anybody who's out there who's on the fence, they want to get involved. Like you said, you have some measures, but we have some immediate measures that we can take. What would you recommend to people who just want to get out there and get the message out there? 
<clears throat> oh, I mean, there, there's a lot of other things you can do. Just <clears throat> you know, telling other people. Uh, you know, I've uh, I've ordered a lot of the bumper stickers, and I, you know, I go around to, uh, like, uh, for instance, I live in Baton Rouge. I went out to LSU and put bumper stickers all over the uh, the trash cans out there. So, I mean, there's there's things you can do to uh, promote. You know. Exactly. Exactly. So, Robert, tell us briefly, uh, how'd you get involved with InfoWars? How did you first hear about us? Uh, <clears throat> actually, the girl I'm dating right now uh, turned me on to Alex, and... Uh, That's a good girl. That's a keeper right there. <laughs> yeah, she might be. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and I, you know, I started listening probably two, three years ago, and uh, you can, you, you just can tell that uh, he, he's a... Uh, He's good. He's a good patriotic man, and he risked his neck to bring us the the truth, the information, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, I wanted to uh, give something back and do something for him. So. No, we definitely appreciate it. You know, because everybody calls and they thank us, but it's listeners like you, people who will go out there and spread the message that really make our job easier, make our job possible. You know, because if it wasn't for people like you going out there and putting up the billboards or other people giving out bumper stickers, the magazines, whatever it may be, you know, it'd be much harder for us to reach people. So tell people where they can see the billboards that are up right now. <clears throat> well, uh, most of them are probably done right now. We have one up in Baton Rouge right now on I-12, but uh, I would think that the majority of them are probably finished by now. So what's it like, a, a month contract or how long? Yeah, we did, did one month spots in, uh, in all the cities. We did a total of 13 cities and nine different states, so. Well, definitely, thank you, Robert. You know, like I said again, it's guys like you who make our job possible. So leave us with your closing thoughts. Uh, I would just say that, you know, I think everybody, the listeners really need to uh, promote more because I think these next two years are gonna be the, uh, the turning point of where this country goes. So I would say that we need to start getting uh, more active now more than ever, so. All right, Robert Bro, thank you for your time. All right, thank you, Jakari. Well, that's it for our show tonight. Be sure to stop by the InfoWars shop and check out our limited time Christmas specials on the t-shirts, the hats, the DVDs, and also the healthcare supplements. A great time to give these to your friends and family. I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. This is Jakari Jackson for InfoWars.com with a potential victory for the Second Amendment in the state of Ohio. Ohio moves to exempt active duty military from concealed carry requirements. As part of an overall reform to Ohio's concealed carry guidelines, lawmakers have amended a pending gun bill to allow active duty military in the state to carry without a permit. And I say it's about time. We trust these young men and women to volunteer their lives to go fight in preemptive wars under false pretenses. The very least we can do is offer them the chance for self-defense once they come back here to the states. And moving away from the state of Ohio and coming here to the state of Texas, we've seen active duty military arrested for bearing arms. Can I ask you what I was doing wrong? Until you, I can find out you can legally have a gun. So, so you can just stop anybody in the world for rudely displaying, yes. Oh, how am I rudely displaying a gun? I'm walking. That was Master Sergeant C.J. Grisham, who was arrested for carrying his long gun, even though the practice is completely legal in the state of Texas. But things are starting to look up. Our soon-to-be Governor Greg Abbott is promising to sign an open carry pistol bill should it make it to his desk. But even with all the pro-gun things going on here in the state of Texas, there are still some who want to vet you to make sure that you're okay. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com. If you know somebody that's acting uh, with, with a lot of hatred towards any particular group, especially if you know that somebody that's a gun enthusiast or, or is armed with these type of firearms and they're, and they're showing any type of propensity for hatred, doesn't mean that we're going to go and take them to jail, but we might want to vet these people. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world 
praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com and to help others during Christmas by teaching them about the powerful benefits of silver. Secure your silver bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one was focused on the American people period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. Twenty fifteen is almost here, and with it comes those New Year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it. There's a reason over eighty eight percent of New Year's resolutions fail. Make this year different by equipping yourself with Oxy Powder, the next level in cleansing the body naturally. Using super oxygenation, Oxy Powder, available through InfoWarsLife.com, gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules. Tens of thousands of individuals have used Oxy Powder to cleanse their bodies and aid in their transformations. Even InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew has been using Oxy Powder with incredible success. In your own words, Repeat to me what you said this morning and what Oxy Powder did for you. Well, I'll go into a little more detail. Um, back in uh, September, I started. Um, I decided I was going to take it, and I was. I've been hovering between two twenty and two fifteen. Couldn't get any lower than that. You're a big guy. What are you about six three? Six three. Yeah. And you know, in college, I was about one eighty five, one ninety, and I was playing basketball and doing all that stuff. So, I was, and I was really in shape. Over the years, having kids, you slow down a little bit. So I was up to 220. I think the most I got to was 230 at one point, and I started to develop, a, you know, like a double chin. I hadn't really realized it, and I looked in the mirror. I'm like, oh, my God. So I've been trying to watch what I eat, uh, taking different things, and, you know, but I was still, like, at 215. And when we started selling Oxy Powder, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. And I started off, I did five pills the first night, and nothing happened. And it says on there, you got to find your dose. So the next night, I did seven. I woke up the next morning. And basically, you're going to be visiting the bathrooms. What I think it does is it goes in there and, like, liquefies the stuff that's inside your intestines, and then it just flows out pretty much. Not to get too graphic. But I did that for six days once I found and that stuff's rotting in there, and that's what gives you cancer. Exactly. That, it's diverticula. And, and it gets rid of it. It hurts your immune system. It does all kind of stuff. It just it keeps your digestive system from working properly, all that stuff in there. I took it that first day, and then I took it for six more days after that. And after that, I was down to 202. And now, I, now, how fast did you lose 12 pounds? It was in six, seven days. Literally six, seven days. You had 12, no, pounds 12 pounds of filth. Gone. Went to the beach in early October, and I looked, my wife was like, wow, you look really good. And I'm like, I know. I don't. I, I guess it's this Oxy powder. I've been trying to get her to take it. She's, she's like, well, I don't know. I said, no, you're going to take it. So you did all this stuff, and it got some of the weight down, but yep. not the rest of the way. Well, I mean, for me, it's all a synergy 
but I wish I'd have taken it years ago when they were henpecking me to take it. Yeah, I mean, like, literally 12 pounds melted off in less in about a week. I'd say a week, seven days. And I, I've been able to keep it off, too. I'm, I'm, I measured myself last night, actually. I'm like, well, let's see what I'm at. 202. How often do you take the ox powder now? I haven't taken it since that one week time, but I'm going to take it probably after Thanksgiving. I think that's – so I think every three months I'm just going to do So it. how many pills made you lose 12 pounds? It, well, so, so you did seven for uh, six days. And five. And then five the first day. So seven times five is 35 plus five, about 40 pills. So it's not even not even a quarter of the bottle, really. Well, how many pills are it's 120. In? Yeah. So literally, like one bottle. If you know, I don't. I don't take it every day. I did it for that. I did it intensely, you, and you really have to stick to it. And by the third or fourth day, you're like, I don't know if I want to keep doing this. If you just get through it, it's not really that. It's not bad at all, considering the weight I lost. I mean, I could never lose <laughs> the weight doing any other way, you know, that quickly. Well, this is the final thing people Hollywood stars do to lose that final amount of weight. Yeah, if you're going to, if you got a wedding or something coming up. I'd say and groups in here in the office like months ago going, look, see this star, she did it, and look at this, Alex. Just I'm telling you, it's the best thing I got. Uh, you need to sell it. Uh, it definitely works, and you know I'm I'm also doing the X2 and uh, a little DNA force, but I mean the main thing that I saw the biggest fastest improvement was oxy powder, and I'm I'm totally amazed with it. And I'm, after Thanksgiving, I'm going to do another round. And the great part is. We can go out, research, bring people the most cutting-edge products, and then fund the operation with it. It's a win-win-win, and then all we get is rave reviews. We never get negative reviews. We don't screen the calls. It's joke-level good that we can just bring people the very best stuff at very affordable prices, fund our operation, and then they love us. And then they help us, we help them, and everybody's lovey-dove. At a good price, too. You know, I... I you know, what would you pay to lose uh, 12 pounds in a week? Well, how much would you pay for that? That's what you got to ask yourself. Yeah, see, that's what I do. I do it for a couple of days and go, eh, and I lose you, a couple of pounds. You got to just keep playing. I know, I got to do you it. You got to do it. You got to get that full six days in and uh, and really just go through the system. It says it on the back, where to start. Now, Oxy Powder, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 can be different. Diet and exercise are important, but a lot of us have already tried that. Oxy Powder flushes it out. Secure your Oxy Powder at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.